So I can now sit in it, apparently. I never put fuel in it. Not really sure how to do that yet. Thought maybe when I got on it there'd be an option somewhere, but I don't know. I can also boost. Boost up to 40, which is quite nice. Still uses the sort of stamina thing that we've got, so I think that's us boosting, not the bike. So it's not really using any more fuel, I think. Why wasn't I given one of these things before my massive long excursion before to the, uh... Well, this whole section of the map, really. Man, how do I get off it? Ah, right click. Okay. And reconstruct. Broken airlock. Module. Select module. Broken airlock. So I have to say... I need aluminium and titanium to select select that and then place it. Okay, would have been awesome to know ahead of time, but thanks for that, I guess. And aluminium and two titanium. I'm sure there's some of that around. Look at this, look at us go! Dude, this thing is great. This is just like, it's fun again. Like, this is okay. Everything is fine now. I don't know why it took so long to get something like this. That's just ice. Went back, got the materials. So we can... Airlock. Uh... Reconstruct. Select module. Airlock. Confirm. Small airlock required. What? Okay. Okay, it's the same thing. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a fit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. Oh. Looks more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. You need to find the central interphone. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. Okay, so a kind of also home away from home a little bit ish. Sort of. Maybe. Kind of an okay little like building tutorial type thing though, I guess. Large oxygen? Heck yeah. Try to unclog the ventilation. Try to what? Over here? A detailed plan of the service module. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? A medium service module. I'll probably use that straight away. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. Okay. Uh <laughs> Jesus. All right. First aid kit. Water. Uh nutrition package. Nutrition package. And water. Still a bit of spare. Some salty packages there as well. More large oxygen. Holy shit. Um. <laughs> a lot of stuff. The observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Seems like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. 
Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce, probably. The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait, it actually is in order. However, communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. Okay. The antenna miraculously remained intact. You may start debugging, but where's the antenna? I wanted to use the audio file from the first chapter to reduce the cost of development. I don't think it'll help. Looks like it wasn't the antenna that caused the problem, but these broken wires. You need to deal with it. Didn't I, I don't think it'll just help. do that. <laughs> what? <sighs> I don't think it'll help. Why? I don't <laughs> think it'll help. The broken wires are solved. Try to catch a signal from normal. Why not just like one use bam repaired? It's too stupid, even for green universe radicals. Why do I have to keep extinguishing the, the, the why do I have to keep extinguishing the lightning? You know what I mean. Uh scan, sure. So that's how it actually works. How interesting. And an encrypted tape alive. required. I put the encrypted tape the away. Activity, it still must be extremely uncomfortable there. I wasn't anticipating finding one of these. But if I find a record or go back and get one. I can bring it over and scan it. So there's that. We've got uh what's going on now? Have you ever heard of cannibalism among Normandy? That's like the main thing, I think. Of consumption of water and food, resorting to this would not be easy. Some other shit to just look at at some point. I guess. <laughs> okay. Build a service module that wants me to do. Which, if I were to... How would we? Medium service module. Two kits and an electronics. Eight replaceable blocks of walls. Best option to start building a large space station, electric and oxygen generators, a research table, an interphone. All this will fit, and there will even be some space left. Fucking hell, an actual, like, honest-to-god description of something. Holy shit, it exists. My god, they're capable, they've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, medium service module, the first tooltip that's actually just information that you care about. Wow. Yeah, two kits electronics, though. Okay. But, so that seems to be nothing that I, like, build onto this, though. It seems to be, like, a... Just... The, the start of your own base type thing. So this is kicked off kind of that. We still need to lower radiation though, and I'm assuming I need to lower radiation to even have a chance of getting over to Normandy. So I guess we keep on with, <laughs> guess we keep on with that. Do I have what it takes to build a, a buildy thingy? Uh, just research stuff. I don't, maybe, I guess. Not sure. Two resin and a titanium and I can build a research table. I don't really know if anything would work here though, because it's like, we need power and I'm not sure if there's actually power here. And I don't know what the oxygen situation is like here either. I don't have any stats. So, I think we kind of just build our own thing. I suppose, I think is what it wants. Or getting at, or something. Finally though, my god, we're getting to like actual gameplay. It's taken ages, I still don't know how to refuel this by the way. 
it's taking ages, but my god, we're getting there. Outstanding. And since I'm completely filled up with mostly oxygen generators, let's head back home. Well, home. Don't really have a home, I suppose. Um, and see what we can do. I'm a little bit tempted to bring this thing, like, back to the original place and kind of mule some stuff around a bit. But, like, there's suitcases that I can make that need four... I think four refined metal, which is 16 metal, which I, I don't think I have, but we can take a look and see what's possible, because we're totally filled up here at, at our little whatever here. I might even build just like a little outpost thing here, I, I guess, just to use some resources. I don't know if I can disassemble. And if I can, I don't know if I get stuff back. It's like, I just have the one generator. And while I can probably make another one, possibly a bit annoying to make. Because, yeah, we're... basically completely full. <laughs> Got a lot of oxygen stuff. Don't need that much, I suppose. And refined metal-wise... Ugh... We could make a bit. Kinotron. All my knowledge about Kinotrons is limited to my childhood memories of me throwing them at the wall. I remember my grandpa explained how they work and what they current, what kind of current they rectify, but I didn't listen to him carefully. I hope if you just plug it into the right sockets, nothing bad will happen. Electronic glass wire. Okay. Alkali electronics metal. Okay, that's not actually that bad to make. Well, pretty easy, actually, all things considered. The compensator is the most annoying because of the refined metal, but even that's not super awful. Uh, yeah, refined metal, though. Do we have any already? I might already have some. No, we've used it all. Okay. So, let's make some. If nothing else, that really saves space. Let's also turn this rubber into uh, whatever rubber turns into. As well, tape. That's the one. Since I don't think rubber actually has any use aside from turning into tape. At least that I know of. Yeah, no, not, not really. Just remember that we have an oxygen station. Oxygen candle, tape, and aluminium. So we could like plunk that down and, and re-get some oxygen. I kind of completely forgot about that, that that's a thing. How long have I known that? Since like the beginning, probably. That would have made all that garbage earlier a lot easier and a lot less stressy. Being able to just like plunk that down and uh, and all that. Oh well, uh, fine. Just a basic candle, tape, and aluminium. Easy peasy. And as far as this goes, nothing too wild. Still got to get more steering wheels scanned. Okay, so note to self, oxygen station. I thought that was initially these things like oxygen generators like i could make those but no that's not that at all and i would just need a basic candle which i'd have to make a new one i think yeah okay i'll try to remember that that's a thing that would have made life quite a lot easier I mean, we still manage, like, easily. There's enough candles. It just would have been a lot less stressy, and I would have been a little less ragey and salty. But oh well. There's no small service module that I see, so if we were to build this, two kits and electronics, which is easy to make, 
like really easy to make. We have so many construction kits, which construction kits I don't think I can make, but it's been giving me just loads and loads and loads of those. So if I were to use those then, and uh, and what else? One electronics. There, which electronics still have a bit of, and there's a ton to mine around. So if I were to build this, it's a five by three thing. Yeah, but I am allowed to build it just wherever I want, it seems. So we'll build that. Not necessarily here. I mean, that's like, that's the main ship. Like that is the, the main objective, I believe. But I mean, four kilometers away though. <laughs> you thought these are far away at two kilometers. Oh boy. There's also a thing to get there. Like, I guess we check out. I got enough like little oxygen and things. We should. I'll leave the bike there for a minute, save its fuel. I'm not sure if I can refuel that, honestly. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look and see. It seems a little bit like there's a key binding for it, but there's like... It can't figure out the button, so it's just like, the keyboard, but there's also no binding for it specifically. I don't know. Um... I, it, it has to be able to be refueled. It wouldn't tell me the maximum amount of fuel if it can't be refueled. That'd be so bizarre. But I reckon we see what this huge ball thing is. Cooling Maybe we... Ejected. Theoretically, the cooling gel can be used to reduce the temperature and activity of the core. That is, if you find a blob large enough that doesn't evaporate before we get to the liner. Train of thought lost. See if I can build a base thing here because then it's not terribly far away from the other stuff at all like we can kind of just head off that away and just all sorts of places a bit of freezing danger here well, I guess that's a thing maybe we don't build it in the freezing danger looks like there's some heat lamps around though but yeah somewhere Something around here, I think. Or someone. In any case, it's impossible to break it. Now we can see why there's so much cooling gel near the shuttle. This is a tank with cooling gel from the outdated nuclear reactor cooling system. There's no data about such systems being on the liner unnamed. I wouldn't touch it without having a degree in engineering. If I were you, I wouldn't touch anything, even myself. Oh, salty pack. I thought that was sleep package. I was like, what the heck is a sleep package? Okay. We need warm. Uh. Does this count? This doesn't count. Oh boy. Alright. We get to head out just this way a bunch then, I think. Run! And eventually we'll thaw. Oh, looks like there's actually a lamp like right there as well. <laughs> uh. Ta -da. Takes a while to melt the uh, the outer edge of the screen. Maybe I don't have to worry about that. So, dude's stuck. Yeah. Impossible to break it. Definitely seems to be. So why is it marked? He's like kind of right next to a thruster thing. I wonder if I can like power this up maybe somehow. Melt it or so. Yeah, start the engines. How we doing? Seems that you still made the engine run, though this has complicated the identification of the deceased. Slightly. God, I feel like I have infinite breath now. <laughs> ah, so nice. 
Uh, I've completely lost where that was. This? Yes. A grumpy cow! Fucking yoink. Take all those goddamn things. Okay. There's also ship over here. And I think there's also a third one off to the left more. Yeah. A space shuttle got stuck in this blob of cooling gel. I think we found the perfect specimen to launch into the core. Okay. Like, the logic is, like, we launch stuff into the core to increase the mass, which then decreases the amount of radiation that's coming through, or something. Ah, shit, we're out. Balls. A Marty wobbly toy. I'll leave it. I don't really care. Okay. Well, aside from that crate, there's not a whole lot here at this one. Again, with crates, though, you never really know. Maybe there's really good stuff in there. There's another thing there. There's a few things around here. We'll have to make a few bashes and come back, I think. And this last one... At first looks to be just a little heat lamp. That's just floating here for us. Like a pit stop of sorts. Okay. I do wonder if I build a habitation thing, if that also comes with heating, so I don't have to worry about the freezing. Or if that's just going to be an issue if I build over here at all whatsoever. I'd likely be building just, like, up here or something, though. So we can probably outrange it, because I'm already not freezing anymore. I don't have the debuff anymore. I could just kind of... over here build it, you know? It's a nice, huge, wide-open area. It's nearby-ish. Kind of everything. Emphasis on kinda? <laughs> There's not a, not a whole lot around, though as far as, like, loot goes, so we'd be relying on just what I've got, but just so we know what this is like, and heck, maybe I can disassemble stuff too, I don't know. Uh... Here. Da-da-da! And then the airlock. Which, there's two different airlocks. There's airlock. I can't even preview it. Need a bunch of titanium for them both. I don't know which one I need though. But yes. God, things are just being marked. <laughs> All right. We'll uh, fall back a little bit. Just drop off some gear. Pick up titanium. Build some more. Construction kits, titanium, aluminium, I've got an inductor, I've got a generator, some electronics, I think that's everything I need for some of the more basic stuff. Power generator with a generator, aluminium, titanium, inductor, aluminium, titanium for the oxygen, the airlocks, just aluminium, titanium, the research table even is a bit of resin with tape, aluminium, and titanium. I think I'll need some more aluminium if I want all of that, but I think there might be some along the way that we can find. Perhaps. I've still got a drill, so we'll have to keep an eye out. But... No, that's ice. And over here was alkali, and also ice apparently. 
I'm sure there's somewhere else somewhere that we can grab up that's likely not much of a problem. More alkali, ice. I think I will ride the bike over there too. It is actually a bit of a it's a bit of a walk if we were to to go on foot back and forth all the time, especially since especially since I think I'm still missing a few things. But uh, I'm too stupid to remember all of that at once, so I'm taking it in and kind of... Oh, look, it, it's F, actually. The first key I tried. I thought I tried F. Okay. Apparently F and I can feel it. So there is that. Nice. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't just tell me F. Interesting. I thought I tried F. That was like one of the first things I tried. Oh, well. Off we go. So it can be refueled. I figured it would have been. Because it's weird for it to tell you that it's X out of 100 if you have no chance of getting up to 100. Like, it may as well just be fuel, 18. It's like, oh geez, it's counting down. Oh no, oh no. But without telling the player that there is a maximum that it can be. Like, and then you just want to be an asshole and be like, oh, it could have up to 40, but, uh, well, you find a garbage one if it just says two. Like, <sighs> bit mean, no? I also need to head back to the thing down below, which maybe we can stop at after this. Because there is clearing the ducts that I think I know how to do now. So if I want the main airlock, that's that. And small airlock? Oh. Okay. I, I guess we want the main airlock. Yeah, I wish I'd remember which menu I was in. And it has to be on the side? Seems like it has to be on the side. Okay. Well, let's open it up. On this side, then. Can't be on the corner bit. So. Just here, I suppose. Oxygen generator. Look, we can go in now. Oh. Build oxygen. And that just clamps onto the sides. Yeah, it seems to. Okay. Well, let's get a move on with it. And then power. Oh, just in time. And now it wants me to do the research table. Convenient. Okay. Because that was also the most tempting thing for me to build as well. But I need the, uh, the a little more aluminium. Figured as much. And then Interphone as well, the Kinotron and another generator, which uh, Kinotron I didn't look at. Another generator I think it can make pretty easily though. But hey, we're getting there. Yeah, the construction is pretty, pretty easy peasy. And we are station, your station. It is green, as in it's a cool, safe place to be and hang out and stuff. Blue being for pit stop things. How about that? Is that okay? White for crap that's just added that I need to at least take a look at down the road. Red being a current active objective. And yellow being things that I want to head toward next. How I'm sort of doing it. Okay, very good. Aluminium. Which, yeah, mining. And also heading down to the uh, the other station, I guess, beneath us. Because there's the thing where I walked into a dead end, or what appeared to be a dead end. And it was like, try, try unclogging the ducts. And I was like, what? And then I noticed there's a thing on my HUD, and I thought maybe he meant do this over there. Quit wasting time, you imbecile. I don't know, dude's always talking. Maybe it's just after so so long of being inside that he says that just to remind you. Hmm. 
Yeah, here. There is, yeah, some crud up here. I need to grab her, though. Fun fact, I literally just used my grabber to grab some resin outside the ship. Dude, you could totally reach in there with your hand, though. Like, fuck off. Okay. So, fine. I need to make another grabber. And unfortunately, there's no construction thing on the ship anywhere. So, harumph. I guess I will grab some of the stuff that I had left behind. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. Let's just keep respawning with stuff. That's kind of neat. Okay. Well, fine. Make a make a grabber. 